everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Houston Life. I'm Courtney Savala. Derek Shore is off today. And we are out of Studio B today on this fabulous Friday for an unbelievable special show. Y'all are in for a treat for the next hour. We're focusing on body positivity and obesity. Queen Latifah is in town. She's the headliner for this workshop, along with other celebrities as well. You know, she is a rapper, singer, actress with Emmys, Golden Globes and Grammys. The list truly goes on and on and on. And by the way, let's just get to it because Queen Latifah is joining me right now. Welcome to H-Town. H-Town, what's <laughs> up? I'm in the building. It's you, listen, this is such a treat for us. Thank you so much for making time for us here on Houston Life. We really of appreciate course, it. Of what an incredible, I want to talk about all the things today, okay? But what an incredible workshop you have planned. You're going to different cities. Thank you for choosing Houston as one of them of course and spreading your message about body positivity why now are you doing this why not now why not now I think now is a perfect time uh, I think today's day and age with so much information being out uh, with the topic coming up so often um, with the difference between body positivity as well as the topic of obesity mm -hmm and the topic of health overall. I think if anything, uh, what we learned from the pandemic is that there could be a huge disparity in how people's health is being treated and how we're looking at that overall. And so I think it's a good time for us to really open up this so-called can of worms, right. the word obesity, and really understand what it is. It's much more complex than what people think. You know, I think when people think of obesity, they think of, you know, you have to be morbidly obese, five, six, seven hundred pounds. That's not the case. Um, you know, you just have to be a certain percentage over your normal body, what your normal body weight should be, your body fat percentage. Um, and I'll let the doctors tonight and the, the people who speak about this in a more technical, scientific, or clinical way, uh, your doctors uh, talk about that. But, you know, why not start here in Houston? where we face this very issue. And you know, we, we deal with it in Jersey, we deal with mm -hmm. it in LA, we deal with it in New York, we deal with it in, all in mid-America mid and, uh, and all across our country. We're talking about two out of five Americans falling into the obese category. So that's, you know, tens and tens of millions of people um, whose lives can be kind of cut short by yeah. not being able to deal with this properly. And you know, I think that there's so many levels and layers going on right now. So talking about obesity, but now even just the price of food, girlfriend, you know, the good food and yeah. trying to get whole food into vegetables, into all of our homes. I mean, people are losing their jobs. So there's, there's, there's a tear effect here. Um, but when you talk about just the levels, again, we'll let the doctors really handle the scientific stuff, but you know, I'm a shorter girl, I'm barely five feet tall I was kind of labeled as oh wow athletic chunky as you know mm -hmm. gymnast all of those things you dealt with a lot of body shaming I'm putting words in your mouth was it body shaming in your career early on uh, I don't even think the word body shaming was even a word it right. wasn't even a thing yet it was uh, straight criticism it was uh, you know um, almost demand that you have a certain body type, yeah. which automatically made you feel some sort of shame and blame, uh, but it was very vicious. It, it felt much, it felt really, really vicious. So what I recall is the feeling. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a decent amount of self-esteem and thank God for my parents and yeah. what they constantly drilled into my head and into my heart and into my spirit. But for, for people who are who, who may be much more tender on the inside. That's something to go through. And we've seen so many people make, I mean, gosh, different career choices just based on the fact that they were teased as a child. Um, I know people who've gained 100 pounds, who've lost 100 mm -hmm. pounds, who struggle with weight all their lives, who've been told that they couldn't do a certain sport um, or a certain activity because of their weight which made them go in a completely different direction. And they should have been able to do that. So for me, I, things like that kind of kind of make me, I'm not gonna say the words that first came to my mind, but <laughs> it really made me angry. Yeah. So my reaction is more anger, like how dare you? You know, who do you think you are? And, and where's this word coming from? What do you look like? Who are you? And, and how healthy are you? Right. You know, um, because it's, so it's a much more complex, uh, 
uh, subject than that. We keep making this idea of what beauty is supposed to be, which is problem number one, um, which doesn't allow real people to fit into to that that aesthetic. Yeah, it's just not normal, you know. So when we when we actually show people as they really are, it allows us to have a more real conversation. And then we can kind of maybe make a distinction between what's just a good positive, positive body image. Um, we have our cultural differences. Uh, and then we have something that is actually, hey, this is unhealthy. Yeah. And we need to figure out how to get in a more healthy place. And first we need to understand what it is. But uh, the most important thing is to take away that shame, take away that stigma understand what we're dealing with and uh you know stop all of that body shaming right because you should see some of the people it's coming from it's easy to sit here and and talk about somebody you know we don't know what that what that person is going through uh if it's if you can body shame someone but we got so many other things to work on to even do that to someone should tell us that there's something going on with the person sending that message. Right, clearly they're going through something. I like to right. say, bless their hearts. Bless, bless and your heart. Bless and release, son, girlfriend. Um, bless and release. <laughs> I'm taking that one with me. Please do, please do. Um, so can we, let's talk about current things. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I listed off all, not all of them, but some of your accolades at the top. Congratulations on Equalizer being renewed for not one, but two more seasons, girl. Two is what it do. <laughs> Congratulations, and of Thank course, the, um, the release of Hustle. Yes, number one, we're, we're knocking it out the park. How fun was that to work with Adam Sandler? It was unbelievable to work with Adam Sandler. He is one of the most fun, down-to-earth people. You know, he made the set uh, just, he just made it like a family affair, yeah. you know? And we were shooting during, during COVID and we had to like shut down for a period of time because it's a basketball movie and there was literally a basketball season going on and LeBron is one of the producers and they had to go in a bubble, you know, for yeah. a certain period of time. And a uh, part of it is shot around the world, but it came out so good. Everybody is loving this movie. Even people who like hate everything. <laughs> Some of my <laughs> friends who like are cynical they hate every movie. They're like, I like that movie. I like it. It actually might be one of my favorite basketball movies. So <laughs> I'm like, um, it's, it's, it's good to hear. That's awesome. Okay, who are we listening to now? What's on your playlist? I know you love Lizzo. Um, oh my God. You know, our H-Town girl. Who Who's on your playlist today? Oh, definitely Lizzo. She stays on it. I mean, About Damn Time is on regular rotation right now. Um, I'm really going, I was just singing this Panic at the Disco record by, by um, uh, Viva Las Vengeance, Vengeance and um, Harry Styles is on my regular rotation and and uh, uh, Fabio, everything by Fabio with Nicki awesome. and whoever else and gosh, it's on and on. Um, Future is on it, Drake is on it, you know. Um, Gosh, uh, Summer Walker, let's get into a little bit of that. <laughs> the vibes and, and anything reggae, you know, because it's right. summertime. So I stay, Bob Marley stays on rotation with me just to wipe the board clear and then start fresh with some new fresh music. Right, so. got to have the positive vibrations, right? Every time things get really crazy, I'm like, I need some Bob. Mm -hmm. Bob already said, he already has a song for this. <laughs> you know, Bob or Stevie has a song for this and we can kind of like get past it and get to everything is going to be all right. So that's right. My 11 year old is a big Bob Marley fan. So he, <laughs> he channels important. the positive vibrations that's on right. test days. Um, bringing it back to why you're here. I know tickets are available. We're going to let people know how to get those tickets a little bit later on. Um, in the show, but your this event tonight starts at seven here at the Revere. And look, I'm so proud to say welcome to Houston, and, and you're having this workshop here because we've made some strides. You know, there's been some ad campaigns where we're using real mm -hmm. bodies. We're not covering anything up. You know, yes. Dove comes to mind. Mm -hmm. But we need more people like you to bring this to the forefront because this is a female issue. Not a lot of men sit around and say, well. You're gaining weight. I mean, you know, it, it is typically targeted at women, and sometimes it's always just to kind of push us down. It is typically targeted uh, at women from an outside perspective, but you would be surprised how many men deal with um, obesity, yeah. uh, body image uh, issues, how many men are wearing body shapers, and really, a lot of men are, are driving the, the visual 
change uh, that we're starting to see. A lot more men are getting Botox and every other right. thing well, that you're seeing and, and hair things going on. And it's actually a lot more than what it used to be. I mean, it used to be women, and but now it's men. And um, um, <laughs> since men are often in positions of power, we're seeing a lot of changes yeah. happening in those areas. So I think we, as, as women, we, we still have to look out for each other and look out for ourselves and, and, and kind of protect our own um, sense of self um, and, and, and look out for, take care of each other and, because we can set the standard for what needs to happen in our very own homes and out. And so we can block some of that and stop some of that. And a lot of this starts in the home, how yeah, we talk does. to our children, what we say to them about who they are, how they look, how they feel, what they can be in life. I mean, we have to really, really start filling them up from the inside out and really taking care of them and taking, you know, kind of taking care of ourselves. So I think we can start driving the narrative a lot more than we do. We gotta take over. Yeah. We gotta let the, la let, let the ladies handle this. Let the women run it for a minute, you know? Right. You had a I good agree. run. You had a good run, you know? <laughs> it's our turn. <laughs> Don't worry, you, you can just sit on the couch for a minute. Let us, let us rock this. So fair to say that Queen Latifah has my back? I have your back. All right, girlfriend, I got, I got yours. Let's Welcome go. to H-Town. We're so proud to I have you here. I love H-Town. I and love it. come back and see us anytime. We appreciate your time and just as beautiful as ever in person, too. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs> okay, positive vibrations. We've got more Houston life ahead of us. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to a special edition of Houston Life. I am Lauren Kelly alongside our newest Houston Life team member. This is Mel Camp. Hi, welcome Hi. to the team. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It feels like a baptism of fire. Like I've got, I've, got, well, I've joined with this amazing show. You I know mean, what's so yeah. funny is, is clearly you don't sound like you're from Texas. Why don't you give us a few tidbits about yourself right now? <laughs> you know, you know what? So many people would joke. People would go, Oh, where are you from? The South? Like that, that would be. Oh, totally. I pick up yeah, the South. People People would say that to me all the time and I'm like well now I actually am in the south <laughs> so no one says that to me anymore no way way down south like the southern hemisphere okay. try Australia okay yeah, yeah. that's what I was here and I thought that I heard good day. Good day. oh my goodness I can't wait to practice that with you oh my gosh imagine if we could get you sounding a good luck girlfriend that's not ever gonna happen I practice and it's just just bad news but how have your, your first couple of weeks here in Houston been are you adjusting to the heat yeah well you know what I was in Buffalo New York before okay I've been living there for two Two years it's um a lot cooler there than yeah I would imagine <laughs> I'm so happy to be in the heat I've missed it I really have okay I think I'm gonna be okay but I may not know what I'm in for in the next couple of yeah months it's only we... June and just wait until August kind of sets in we'll get you okay. some new hair ties and a, and, a, and a personal mister that you can keep at your desk oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. well here's a really fun thing we're live at the Revere here in Houston today where Queen Latifah and Brooke Bur uh, Brooke Burke are preparing for tonight's amazing event so it's cool. an obesity awareness positive body positivity forum called Bigger Than Me, and I'm going to actually be talking to Brooke here in just a little while. Uh, Courtney just sound with, uh, sat down with the queen. Come on, girlfriend. Come back in here. We just want to get a piece. I'm here. I'm here. You I'm freaking everybody out. We're Welcome out. out. How was that? Listen, she is incredible, and it was so great that she made time for us today, but her message and everything that she stands for, listen, if you, you just, you've got to be positive. We've got to get healthy, and listen, and we have to just lock arms with everyone yeah. and do the same. Absolutely. But we have so much more on this show. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to stand next to her. <laughs> well, check this out. Yeah, she just dropped a new movie on Netflix yes. this week, and she stars alongside Adam Sandler. Take a look at Hustle. This Philly thing. There's room to grow there. I want to coach someday. Do you love being away from home all the time? Best chance to win in here is with you out there. What the hell am I still chasing this for? So you're just gonna give up on your journey? Been in this league for 30 years and it's like, I'm nothing. Look at this guy. You come to Philly, your whole world's gonna change overnight. I gotta work. My mom and my daughter, they mean everything to me. Salary's $900,000. He will call in sick. 
<laughs> well, you guys can watch Hustle now on Netflix. It is streaming. You talk about the ultimate cast involved with oh, basketball yeah. right there. Adam Sandler, Queen Latifah, as well as a lot of professionals from the NBA make cameos in that movie, and it looks so good. We actually had a couple of coworkers here uh, at the, the broadcast behind the scenes talking about how they just watched it. So I love good. this. They're a dynamic duo. Absolutely. And, and uh, Queen Latifah was just talking about, you know, LeBron produced it. I mean, he's, yes. it, it was it filmed during COVID. So yeah. incredible. And she lit up when I said the word hustle. So I think she's super proud and excited about all of us to see this as well. You know, we, we should have asked her what would be on her basketball playlist. You know how people have like workout oh, playlists? Oh, or like a walkout? You got in there with the playlist, but the walkout playlist oh. songs. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me go get her again. She, you know, we're besties now. <laughs> Mel, are you going to watch this movie? Oh, definitely. You know what? I, I love that people are speculating that it's based on a true story, which I think says a lot about how real and awesome right. the movie is. But it's not. It's absolutely it's not, not right. based on a true story. So, yeah, just real basketball players <laughs> in it. Right, 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 right. Good stuff. That's our assignment over the weekend. Everybody watch it. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, listen, we are going to send things up. What's coming up? Um, Derek is standing by with that. Still ahead, my conversation with Ashley Turner, captain, all about her brand new marriage and the nasty comments she received online, but how she responded with grace. And welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Life. I'm Courtney Savala. Today we are talking to some high profile women who have been the target of harsh public criticism simply over their bodies. Ashley Turner, captain, has spent years in the local spotlight as Houston's first daughter. She sat down with Derek to discuss how she's turned the tables on internet bullies. Welcome back to Houston Life, where today we're having some important conversations about body image. And our next guest knows a thing or two about being in the spotlight as the daughter of Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. Ashley Turner, captain, joins us now, newlywed. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we were just chatting uh, before this interview a little bit about it. I saw the photos when they were published. Yeah. You looked gorgeous. Thank Small you. little wedding of 350 people. You know, 350 of our closest friends and family. No big deal. No big deal. But somehow you were able to speak to each and every one of your guests. And then yeah. you had a beautiful time on your honeymoon in the I Maldives. Did. We did. We had the best time. We just needed to relax and get away and lay out and, and, and just enjoy each other. It was the best way to start our marriage. You have such a cool, positive vibe about you. This is our yeah. first time meeting. Yeah, I've interviewed I like your I father. You. I feel like I know you because yeah. I've known your dad for years. I've interviewed him. He's appeared on Houston Life many times. Yeah. And uh, we mentioned being in the spotlight. Sometimes that's great. Yeah. Sometimes the spotlight is not so kind. Yeah. And you learned that uh, after your wedding. Yeah, I learned it the hard way. It was actually before the wedding. It was when we released our engagement photos. Uh, and I, we did it just because we wanted to share our love and our joy, and we were so excited. Um, and as soon as it posted, the body shamers came out and reared their ugly heads and just said some really hurtful things. Um, and so it was, it was tough. Uh, but thank goodness I have a great support system and I've been here before and I've kind of stretched and grown as a person uh, and so I was able to kind of overcome it but it did sting it hurt a lot how when you mention like stretching and growing and overcoming it how were you able to do that? Because it's easier said than done. Yeah, no, it really is. It's hard. Um, I've been body shamed a couple of times in the media. Uh, the first time, I actually talked to my therapist about it. Uh, and we realized that I actually take it in and you can really kind of process things differently when you already feel that way about yourself. So at the time, I, was, I wasn't uh, myself. I hadn't really been um, doing the things that normally make me feel good. And I was a people pleaser. I was just, I wanted people to be nice and to and be kind and all those other things. But uh, the reality is sometimes people aren't just so kind and aren't so nice. And so when this next time happened, it still hurt. Um, but my support system rallied around me. Um, and then I had to remember who I am. And do I like myself? And the answer 
answer is yes, I love myself a lot. Uh, and so it didn't hurt as long, right? I think it's um, a myth when people say, just don't worry about you know what people say. That's not so easy to do. You know, we're human, um, but what you can do is kind of shift and think about who you are and what you like about yourself. And that's exactly what I had to do. Wow, I mean, you're so evolved and I love having a conversation with you because I feel inspired and there are times when viewers will send us mean notes or they'll point out something that then makes me feel a little bit self-conscious. Yeah. And it always surprises me when people out there would actually take the time to write something mean on right. social media. Do you think because you are a public figure that you are more of a target? Oh, for sure, yep. for sure. I think it's easier to attack, especially when people feel like you signed up for this life. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's helpful, right? So a lot of times, and I've had people that literally body shame me thinking that they were helping me. Like, I just wanna give you advice. And it's like, but you don't know me, you don't know my lifestyle, um, you don't know that I actually work out three to four times a week and that I am actually nutritious. Like, you just look at something and you make a judgment uh, based off of what you see. And I think a lot of times that's what I try to say, even on my platforms, like, hey, don't judge a book by its cover. You just don't ever know. Um, and so the best way to be helpful is to either be kind or to not say anything at all. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. And to those people who think they are being helpful mm -hmm. by sending you a mean note or by making a nasty comment, mm -hmm. do you respond to those people? Or if you wanted to respond to them now, what would you say? It depends on if I have time that day. <laughs> No, but um, lately I've just been ignoring it. Um, or if it's somebody where I really genuinely feel like they're trying to come from a good place, but it's not, then I will address it. But I try not to ever address it publicly um, because I feel like if I add on to the negativity, then what are we doing, right? Then it's just more negativity. Um, but if I really care about your perspective um, and I think you're trying to come from a good place, your delivery's just off, then I'll privately message them and just say, hey, like, it really shouldn't be like that. Let me explain how this is hurtful. I really hope that, you know, we can do better. Uh, and then we just kind of go from there. And for the most part, it's been received very well. Wow. Yeah. See, and they're probably shocked that you actually respond to them. Yeah, that's what I said. Depends on if I have time that day. <laughs> it's incredible that you take time to do that. What about advice for people out there who know what it feels like to be body shamed, who step yeah. out into the world every day feeling self-conscious because they are afraid mm -hmm. of what people might say to them or comment on their social media or even the way people just sort of like side eye. Yeah, now I would say number one, your feelings are valid, right? I think the worst thing that we can do is to make someone feel like their feelings are not valid or not important or that they don't feel seen, but also know who you are, right? Because when you know who you are, then those people's opinions are none of your business. That's on them. Because a lot of time people project their own hurt, they project their own feelings. If they feel bad about themselves and they feel like you should feel bad about yourself, to uh, and to be honest I just like getting under people's skin being like owning who I am uh, and knowing that I am beautiful not because of the way I look but the way that I am and the way that I interact with people and the good deeds that I do and put out into the world and so I think the best way to get back at those people is to continue living your life authentically. Ashley sit tight still ahead on Houston Life Ashley's telling us how she met her husband don't go away we'll be right back. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life on this Friday. Courtney and Lauren back with you at 3.30. What oh, a fun show. This has been so much fun so far. I'm still in awe of your interview with the queen. Queen Latifah, Courtney. Amazing. Listen, I, I'm. I, she was so cool and so great and, and gracious and um, really just honest about the conversation yeah. um, that she's going to have tonight. Of course, we are here at the Rivera. And if you don't know where this is, you should. We're at Old Katy Road and 610. Yep. This this is ahead of their event happening tonight. It's called Bigger Than Me, and that's what's brought Queen Latifah and Brooke Burke to Houston. Doors were open tonight at okay. seven o'clock, and tickets are still available as okay. well. 
It's going to be so much fun. I'm just kind of watching them set up. And I think us here in the back, we get like a behind the scenes view. And it just looks beautiful. And all the women that have been here that are going to be on the panel <laughs> about to speak tonight. I mean, it's a free event. HoustonLife.tv yeah. will get you that link of where all the tickets and information is. This is really in great. It, it's going to be empowering. It's yes. all about understanding obesity. We're going to have more about tickets and all of this event coming up a little bit later. But right now, we have to figure out, um, we have to get the news. Let's see what's coming up at the top of the hour with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at four. Hi, guys. Hey, hey guys. guys. And happy Friday. Happy Goodness. Happy Friday. Yeah, yeah, this is such a great show. And Courtney, what an amazing interview with Queen Latifah. I don't think there's a single woman out there that has not been body shamed or felt insecure. Mm. And men, too. So thank you guys so much for tackling this topic today. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And I love Absolutely. Queen Latifah. Definitely. Been oh. listening to her. I saw her in concert. She's, she's amazing. Really like 25 years ago. Yes, and she's still cooking. <laughs> she she's still amazing. Oh, yeah. Yes. She is. She is. And I'm loving the Bob Marley vibe. She's like, whenever there's like a bad day, I just put on some Bob and, you know. And, and, and you know, she's and a, no worries. She's I love a really good actress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she yeah. Is. A lot of singers don't Very translate good. to being good actors, but right? she's no, a great actress. She's she's really yeah, she really is. She really is. She's really is. She's doing really good. Yes. I feel like we need some Bob Marley Triple today threat. cruising into like, yeah, no kidding. The, these, he, these temperatures <laughs> today, Frank. Ooh, Ooh, some I beach know. vibes. My goodness. Heat advisory just issued for Saturday for all of Southeast Texas. This is from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Temperatures to 100 plus. Feels like numbers 108. I suspect we will see this into Sunday also. In fact, where you see all that other orange or heat advisories already for Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, Dallas to San Angelo and out west. So you can't really escape it unless you go off into Louisiana. That high is keeping the rain away from us, rotating it into Mississippi, parts of Alabama and Louisiana. So if you go west, you'll run into a thunderstorm. But for us, that's our sky right there. A hot one. 98 in Sugarland right now feels like 106. I know it's only going to get worse, too. So stay hydrated. Take those breaks, AC, shade, sunscreen. Check on your neighbors and your relatives. Make sure everybody you know and love is in good shape. Look before you lock. Never leave anybody in the car and especially uh, children and pets. Walk in the morning and evenings. Seven second rule for that pavement. If you can't keep the back of your hand on the pavement for seven seconds, it's too hot for their paws. So it's just going to be a long weekend. This is little Miss Mari, by the way. I think we may reach 100, certainly in spots across southeast Texas the next couple of hours. 98 at 6, 96 at 7. The next three days, I'm at 101 for Saturday, 100 for Sunday, 98 for Monday. So some record setting, very close to it as we go into the weekend. That heat advisory now for Saturday. I, if I was a betting man, I'd say it's going to be in for Sunday also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. be careful. All right, Frank, thank you. We want to give you a look at some of the other stories that we're working on for this afternoon. Yeah, Justin Bieber shares a shocking update about his health after he was forced to cancel shows. The popular singer says that he's battling a serious virus that has paralyzed half of his face. We're going to have more on his condition and what he knows, what he wants fans to know about his health right now. Americans still getting hit hard in the wallet. The latest government report shows a major inflation hike for the year that ended in May. Among the factors for the major hike, filling up the tank. We will tell you what experts are saying about the numbers and when we could finally expect some relief. And Starbucks open door policy for its bathrooms may soon be coming to an end. The coffee chain opened their bathrooms to anyone, including non paying customers back in 2018. But now Starbucks CEO says this policy may pose a threat to employees and to customers. So we'll explain more of that. So a lot coming up today at four o'clock, you guys. Um, no, that's bad news. I Starbucks know. cannot close their bathroom to the public. <laughs> I sometimes sit in there and drink my drink and need to use it before I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> we need Kelly. those things. Yeah. Secrets coffee. are out. <laughs> I know. All right, guys, we'll see you in less than 30 minutes. Do appreciate it. Happy Friday. You as well. You too. You too. Well, we are focusing of course, on this topic of how we handle criticism and body image. So we asked you on our Facebook page today how you respond to body shamers and those internet trolls or oh. keyboard kings and queens. Goodness. Goodness. All right, let's start with our first one. All right, Jennifer writes in, Jennifer Stringer's grant says, I take a deep breath, I tell myself not to do it, then fully engage in the return assault. Oh, okay, I see where she's going there. Uh, Mary writes in, Mary Newberry Lane, 
Lamb says, ignore them. A low level to stoop to for attention. Definitely. Great advice. All right. Samantha Phillips Pickett says, I type out a long, smart response, then delete it and just keep scrolling. Oh, so that, that way you get to vent, but you actually don't hit play, uh, right. hit send, and that's a good way to Sometimes do it. Sometimes it's just fun to just to <laughs> write the send. comment and delete it. Sarah <laughs> writes in, my mantra with rude people, you can't have my happy. Oh. Be happy and ignore. That's yes, a good one. That is a really good one. All right. Sharon Briggs says, I think it's best to scroll on. Without being face to face, I'm not sure how to reason with someone who thinks like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's know, those people behind the keyboards, Courtney. That you know? is so true. And Mary writes in, delete, block, and pray for those <laughs> souls. Bless your heart, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Bev Barbuchik says, smile. Smile, yeah. just smile. That's a really good one too. Awesome, mm -hmm. good advice. And I shared this earlier with Queen Latifah. I just say like, bless and release them. You bless ah. and release them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. I know, some good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay guys, still to come, our conversation continues with the first daughter of Houston about her experience with body shaming. And you know her from Dancing with the Stars among many of her other projects. Brooke Burke is here as part of tonight's panel. I'm gonna talk with her about how her family has been impacted by obesity and the difficult loss she suffered as a result. That's when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life. We are live at the Rivera in Houston this afternoon where Queen Latifah and Brooke Burke are preparing for an event tonight and you can register for tickets at HoustonLife.tv. And speaking of Brooke Burke, you know her as a TV personality, an actress, an author. The list goes on. We're such big fans of your. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us today. Well, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in Houston and this is a really important night. This whole tour and this campaign really matters. Absolutely. And it's making a great difference in so many people's lives. So let's talk about about your position on the panel. The event's gonna start at mm -hmm. seven o'clock. Let's just get right to it why you're here and what message you're gonna be spreading. Um, well, the, the message is deep. Um, I'm in the health and wellness space. You know, I'm the founder of Brook Brook Body, which is mindful fitness. It goes far beyond the body. It's really about how we feel. It's about an inward approach. And in this campaign, our wish and our goal is to open up the conversation and to bring truth and compassion and a comfort level so that people who um, are dealing with obesity can better understand their body. Um, so I'm, I'm all in for a variety of reasons. So I, um, we've got a great panel tonight and we're gonna open up the dialogue and break it down. What I was listening to earlier, some people were chatting and having a conversation. Obesity is not just a top layer. Yeah. It's not just right. about what you see on the outside. A lot of people deal with obesity, whether it's under the mm -hmm. surface, whether they have some kind mm -hmm. of a, a gene problem or, or yeah. some kind of something in their history. So getting the message out there, not to snap judge yes. and, and just... Yeah understand what people are dealing with regardless of what it is. Well, that's what it's really about. I mean, there are a lot of misconceptions, right? right? People relate obesity to a lack of discipline or a lifestyle or um, it, it, the list goes on and on when in fact there's a lot of underlying issues that could be going on medically. So we're encouraging people to look inside and really understand some of those struggles. Um, you know, I'm also very personally with my family connected to the subject matter because this summer marks the year of losing my young brother who passed away last summer when he was only 46 years old. Our of, deepest oh, concern. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a delicate conversation for me. It's still very raw. But the reality is, is he died of obesity. It should have been avoided. And we, myself included, didn't necessarily look at obesity as a disease. Right. Like cancer, like autoimmune, like a lot of other diseases that are more familiar when in fact obesity is a disease. And there is a long list of other issues that can develop because of it. Um, so I'm dealing with that as a family. I'm dealing with that as a professional and the type of work that I do. And if you were to look at me, you wouldn't see the genetic connection to a long line, um, a history of addiction and obesity in my family. So it's just about educating right now. It's about opening up the dialogue, um, doing it vulnerably, doing it honestly, and, and beginning with truth. 
So Which I is think, hard. <laughs> absolutely. I think the most honest and the best part about carrying on your brother's legacy is getting those facts out mm -hmm. there. Because just as we said, some people have the, the stigma, they associate it with laziness. Yeah. And it's not about being it's not. lazy. It's not. And what works for one person might not work for another. So there's also that issue. If, if one struggling with obesity lives the same lifestyle as another, it doesn't mean that the pounds are going to drop off. So we need to educate our society about that. We need to take it seriously. We need to talk about it. We need to remove the shame from it. It and start those conversations and you know bring some compassion to the subject matter which is what we're really trying to do absolutely now let's talk a little bit about the breath work that you do yes 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 Ex I love breath work yes please explain let's talk about it so breath work really changed my life and helped me to deal with some very difficult things um, I had no idea what it was we're sort of hearing more and more about it right now aren't we it's not um, an athletic expression for me at all. It's really about stillness. It's about self-discovery. It's about mindfulness. It's about giving ourselves an opportunity to slow down, look inside, listen, listen to the language of our soul, self-discover, heal, um, evolve. It, it's it's so deep. And there's a lot of different styles of breath work. Better to under better to experience it than to try to understand it. Right. I've been guiding breath work um, sessions sessions in Los Angeles and at different retreats around the country for a while. It's life changing. It's like, if I may. It's like 100 hours of therapy, which is a big, which is a big statement. Absolutely. Um, and there's some online courses that are that are wonderful as well, that are easy to find. I think everyone should experience it. Most people don't want to do that work because it's scary. Right. It's and hard. they're unfamiliar with it. They don't know about it. They're unfamiliar with it. It's difficult to kind of go into the ditches and self-discover and deal with with the challenging parts of ourselves, right? Absolutely. Which is what this campaign is all about. Right, right. Honesty, truth, um, and self-discovery. And you mentioned going within yourself. I think people forget to take a moment mm -hmm. for themselves. Yeah. And that's where a lot of, I think, issues can stem from. If you forget to take a moment for yourself, yeah. you forget just that you need to live your life, you know, and it's you so need true. to remember. I mean, life is happening. We're all busy. It's easier to not deal with the right. stuff than to deal with the hard stuff, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And we're all guilty of it. Time is the greatest excuse. We're all grinding, climbing right. up the mountain. Life is happening. I think when we slow down, we learn. When we slow down, we have the ability to listen. It's the only way to do it. So I teach a lot of that. I, I, I teach mindfulness, really. Beyond breath work, it's yoga. It's carving out time. It's maybe taking five minutes in the morning. Um, just slowing down to walk, to listen, to talk, to find a support system, to reach out to friends, to yes. colleagues, to family members, and to be brave enough to start those conversations. And those conversations with yourself, like, that's the hard work. Oh, my goodness. Right? I, when people say you need to know yourself, yeah. within yourself. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, I, I don't want to go there right now at, at all. Let's talk a We've little been bit. Lately, <laughs> yeah. Let me introduce you to yourself. People right. are like, I what? I don't know myself. <laughs> let me what? introduce you to yourself through this process. This is going to be a great event tonight. We're really excited to have you Thank in you. town. I know that your brother would be so proud of the work Thank that you, you are doing to keep his legacy I and his name so. alive, his Thank memory you. alive. May he always be a blessing. And Thank, Thank you for you. coming by today. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank You're you. beautiful. And I love your nails. They're bright for the summer. Brooke, Thank you so much. You. Well, still to come on Houston Life, Derek is back sitting down with Houston's first daughter, Ashley Turner Captain. We'll be right back. We know you are the daughter of the mayor, but you have a life I all of your own. I do. I do have a busy life. I um, work at Lone Star College, Houston North. Um, I am now a new wife and a bonus mom. I, I have a blog called The Curvy Page where I try to just, that's my little feel good about yourself, we're in this together girl kind of thing, or we just built a beautiful community where we can encourage each other. Tell us how the Curvy Page started. And by the way, it's Paige, P-A-I-G-E, -E, because Paige is Ashley's middle name. It is, it is. I thought I was so clever. <laughs> What it's a beautiful name. So Ashley Page Turner Captain. Yes. That's a four character monogram yes. and a beautiful name. Yes. Thank you so much. No, the Curvy Page came out. Um, I started a thing called Fashion Fridays on my Instagram. Um, and really the only reason why I started it is because whenever I would go out, if I was dressed in something that, you know, people perceived as cute, uh, people would ask, especially curvy women, where do I shop? Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it easy. I'll post it on Instagram. And it just became something I consistently did for two years. Um, and then afterwards, people were like, we want more, do a blog. And I'm like, 
do I have time? Am I going to be consistent? Uh, but it really has been something that's been such a blessing and a joy. And it's just fun to express myself. And I became I become a little bit more personal on the blog. You know, things that I feel like are too long or too intimate to share on Instagram, I put on over to my safe space. Do you mind uh, telling our viewers just a little bit more about the way you and your husband met and oh, how your relationship sure. played out? It's for such sure. a good story. You just told I love me. It. Actually, my husband's mom uh, was a sergeant for HPD and she worked with my dad during the campaign. Uh, and so after the campaign was over, she retired from HPD. I went to her retirement party and that's when I met um, her son. And so I remember his big smile and I remember a big hug and then that was it. It was just like, hey, nice to meet you. We went on our separate ways. And three months later, he slid into a girl's DM and uh, he said, oh, night, thank you for coming me to my mom's party. Three months later, he Three says, later. thanks for coming to the party. Thanks for coming to the party. And were you thinking, wow, that took a while. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and he said something else. What did you respond, by the way? I think I said, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It was a great party. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> it was very generic. And then he said something else that made me think, is he? Is he like hitting on me or does he want to talk? I, I couldn't figure it out, but I remember him being so nice. And so I said, hey, I really don't check my DMs that much, but if you want to, you know, keep talking to me, here's my number. And he literally texts me five minutes later. And then from dating to fiancés to getting married. Yeah. And here we are today, we are. happily wed. Very happily wed, three well, months in. Three months in. Yeah, it'll be three months this weekend. That's this incredible. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank well, you. just circling back to your message of positivity, uh, again, this is the first time you and I are meeting, yeah. and I can tell you have this light about you. Thank you. Uh, it is definitely just unfortunate and weird that people would actually take time to yeah. be mean to you on social media. Yeah. But I think it speaks to your character the fact that you would take a bad situation, yeah. you would speak publicly about people being mean to you, yeah. and try to use that to help better the world. I think it's great. Thank you. I, you know what it really it, it was? I felt like if I hit into a hole and I kind of went away and just cried and felt bad about myself, then the trolls won. Right, I felt like they would that they got the best of me, um, and that doesn't do myself or anybody else any good. But if I speak out on it, then number one, I can let someone else that has felt body shamed or has felt the pressure of being a certain size or you know kind, kind of conforming into society standards of beauty. Let them know that they're not alone. Right, that we are all kind of in it together. I mean, you don't have to feel that way. Right, I believe in having goals. Like I actually want to be healthy and fit and strong and I work every day to do so, but you cannot judge a book by its cover. You should not be able to look at someone and say, oh, you're healthy or, oh, you're attractive or those are all opinions for the most part. So live your life authentically, love who you are as you are today, as you're working on your goals for tomorrow. Are you gonna write a book? Oh my gosh, you're like the fifth person to say that. I don't know, no, I don't know. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. It'll be a bestseller. Ashley thank Turner, you. Captain. Thank you so much for stopping thank by you Houston so Life. Much. Come back and see us anytime. Oh, I definitely will. Okay, sounds thank good. Thank you. And don't go away. There is much more Houston Life coming up from the Rivera right after this. And I could what an incredible show we had on this Friday. We are wrapping up Houston Life here at the Rivera, but just in a few hours, you can come be part of this. It's Bigger Than Me workshop event. This is what the main stage will look like. It includes a panel of A-listers, health experts, all people who are starting an open conversation about body positivity and obesity. It's really gonna be incredible. The event has brought some famous faces to Houston. Actors Queen Latifah and and Brooke Burke will share their personal experiences. Anna O'Brien is talking body positivity and how she overcame body shaming to become a social media sensation. Plus, health experts will talk about the science and genetics behind why obesity is not just about what we eat. And the event is open to the public. It's a free event. It starts at 7 p.m., but you need to get tickets, and you can do that by going to our website, HoustonLife.tv. Definitely recommend registering to be yes. able to get here. The 
Rivera is a beautiful event. It has been so great to really focus on some not only beautiful women, powerful women, empowering women in our community, and of course, in Hollywood as well. So this has been really an incredible show for me. You talk about powerful ladies. Queen Latifah, Courtney, the interview was just so amazing. The conversation that you had, I just love her. I love the conversation that you had with her. It was so, so genuine. She is lovely, and I loved getting to know Brooke Burke as well. I mean, she is dealing with the loss of her brother yes. and all the things that she's doing to join this conversation as well. And I think it's it's really great. Also, in case you missed this, this is Mel Camp, hey, our new Mel! member of our Houston yeah. Live team. You're going to be seeing more of her, but what a day Woo! to welcome you today oh to gosh, the show and the team. What a, yeah, big stars. It's always the big stars, right? It's Ryla. the ladies' day. I love our ladies' day. I, I do, too. It actually, yeah. It's Sorry, awesome. Derek. So, listen, see, Derek, it's so great to have you here. It's also hey, National hey. Rosé Day coming oh, up on oh. Monday's show. <laughs> wow. Um, coming up on Monday's show, we got some stuff to tell you about. We have celebrity chef Dawn Burrell. Ooh. She is fresh off of season 18, of course, of Top Chef. She was just in several appearances of this last season of Top Chef Houston. She has some really great recipes, perfect for Juneteenth. We're going to catch up with the former Olympian turned chef. That's coming up on Monday. So fun, always. Love always. It. Her food's amazing. Listen, so are these two ladies. That's Aww, a wrap for us yes. for today. We will see you Thank on Monday. You. The news at four is next. Keith and Christine, take it away. Okay, we will do that gladly. Yeah. And welcome, Mel, yes, to the family. Doubt, We're yeah. so happy to have you. And what a wonderful yes. show, you Thank guys. You. Indeed. Um, have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you on Thank Monday. You. Yeah, it's going to be a warm weekend, so yeah. be ready for Sounds it. Sounds good.